Screwball, an expert gymnast, has been affiliated with Deadpool Inc., the world's first live streaming super criminal. She commits crimes to get more hits on her webpage and is most notably a foe of Spider Man. Not much is known about Screwball's past. Screwball will commit crimes while a film crew followed her so that she can get more hits on her videos by having Spider-Man appear on it. She first encountered Spider-Man while he was tracking the Spider Tracer killer. Screwball later posed as Spider-Man to help Bookie where they filmed Spider-Man fighting a criminal called Basher. The fight was uploaded on YouTube and watched by the patrons of the bar with no name. The enforcers recognized what was happening and began to attack Bookie only for him to be rescued when the real Spider-Man showed up. When Spider-Man and Daredevil arrive at the bar with no name, Screwball is among the patrons that attack them. Later, Spider-Man apprehends Screwball and Looter in Midtown in light of Dr. Octopus stealing Lily Hollister's newborn child, Stanley. Spider-Girl later chased Screwball and confiscated her camera to prevent her from broadcasting her latest activity before handing her over to the police. Screwball later collaborated with Jester in pranking Mayor Jameson, which was uploaded on the internet. Both criminals were eventually defeated by Superior Spider-Man. Screwball later appeared in Las Vegas, where she collaborated with Arcade, who gave her the training, equipment, and exclusive streaming rights that she needed. Screwball is an expert gymnast. Overdrive has been affiliated with Sinister Six. He has the ability to convert any vehicle into a high-powered one. Overdrive has usually been a foe of Spider-Man. The unidentified person that became Overdrive was hired by Mr. Negative to steal an artifact from a museum, but was unable to deliver it because of interference from Spider-Man. Overdrive led Spider-Man on a high-speed chase through the streets of Manhattan. When Spider-Man smashed the windshield of Overdrive's car, it revealed dozens of Spider-Man-related merchandise, such as bobbleheads, air fresheners, and action figures. Overdrive declared that he was Spider-Man's biggest fan, even asking for an autograph as Spider-Man was trying to stop him. The chase finally culminated in a car wreck that had Overdrive and his vehicle hanging from a bridge in New York by Spider-Man's webbing with Spider-Man's trademark note, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Overdrive asked the police who were on the scene to arrest him if he could keep the note. Overdrive was then sent by Mr. Negative to steal the sonic pulse generator from a laboratory, but he failed once again when he met Spider-Man. Mr. Negative told his men to dispose of Overdrive, and they put him in the trunk of Mr. Negative's limo, but Overdrive was able to escape them by converting the limo into one of his tricked out cars. Ever since Lily Hollister's baby was stolen by the chameleon, Spider-Man had been going on a rampage against any criminals involved. The police recovered a web ball containing Overdrive, Spot, and Diablo. Peter Parker later witnesses Overdrive kidnapping Terry Hillman, the daughter of a powerful socialite. In pursuit by Spider-Man, Overdrive transforms the limousine he is driving into a copy of the Spider-Mobile. He then shoots Spider-Man with webs pinning him into a wall. However, Spider-Man manages to take Overdrive out of the car and leave him hanging for the police. While working for Kingpin, Overdrive fought Black Panther. Later, Overdrive was hired by Boomerang to be a part of his version of the Sinister Six. Overdrive stole the original big wheel vehicle and upgraded it 
through his powers. However, the superior Spider-Man defeated Overdrive and the rest of the Sinister Six using a power dampening field that caused Overdrive's nanobacteria to shut down. Overdrive secretly admitted that he only became a criminal to gain a reputation than planned to convert to the good side. The new hijacker that fought Ant-Man and Captain America in Miami claimed that his superpowers were derived from nanites that he acquired in New York from some washout called Overdrive. Overdrive scatters nanites by touch, which can transform a vehicle to his will, such as improving a car's speed or design. These changes will revert if Overdrive is away from the vehicle for too long.